My name is Callie and I would like to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. This video is going to be about Rose Etude number 10, Allegro. I love this etude so much. It's it's a lot of fun. Um, to me, this sounds a little bit like a folk dance or, you know, just kind of like something like that. Um, so I like to play this um, with a little bit more of a um, rustic sort of sound and make it um, a little bit more upbeat and a little bit more lively so it can sound a bit more dance-like. Um, so anywhere between like I think on the slow side maybe 92 and on the fast side maybe 116 to the quarter note. So I think somewhere within that range would capture that sort of character if that's the kind of character you're going for, which is, you know, what I'm going for. Um, so um, there are really only a couple of things stylistically that you need to keep in mind when you're working on this. One of them is to make sure that you clip the slurs and also play the separate 16th note staccato and clipped as well. So that's going to really give you that kind of upbeat and fun sort of uh, sprightly sound. And then you have these accents kind of sprinkled throughout and that's kind of like the hey sort of... Um, uh, gesture. So make sure that you really crescendo up to it and make those accents just sound like you just, you know, whoosh, give a crash symbol or something when you're doing it. Um, so really, that's that's the big, the, the two big things. You just want it to sound fun. Um, now, if you go about halfway through the piece, you've got this beautiful uh, legato piano section. But, you know, I don't really like to play it too much slower than the rest of this. So if you lose a couple clicks, it's okay. But make sure you pick it back up um, when you get to the mezzo forte. And I just, man, I just love going down to those low notes and playing them really big and bombastically because you know what are what are what's the joy in low notes if you can't do that you know um yeah and then let's see you've got this mini cadenza like thing and you know just play it put start putting a little bit of your own character in it you know um like i don't think we've had well i think there's a little cadenza maybe in number five no no, nowhere, nowhere. Um, oh, there's a mini cadenza in number seven. Okay, so yeah, but this is like like um, a mini cadenza in the fast etude, and you really want to like kind of schmaltz it out a little bit and make it sound a little sassy or something, you know? Um, and then, yeah, finish this off um, a little bit softer. You don't have a lot of dynamic markings throughout the whole thing. I like to start this pretty loud and finish this off, um, this ending section, a little bit more introverted, a little more cover to, you know, piano. And then I just like to crescendo up to the end and make it just sound as sparkling and fun and, and grand as possible toward the end. Other than that, there really aren't any fingering tricks in here. You know, if you um, are looking to do any strengthening of your left or right hand, um, check out um, Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee. Um, it's my Saturday morning show, and um, I just give viewers little exercises to do to kind of strengthen the coordination in both of the hands. Um, so I think that would help a lot in this. Uh, but, but, but besides that, I mean, it's an F major. It's a pretty... It's a pretty clarinet friendly key and um, you know, it, it shouldn't be too much of a challenge to really put together. I would like to thank everybody who is supporting me currently on Patreon. You guys are awesome and I really appreciate the, the thoughtfulness that you have put into supporting me. Um, those of you who don't know, I have a Patreon. Uh, Patreon page now. So um, at the $3 level, it's just like a little tip jar that says, Callie, I love what you're doing on YouTube and I want you to keep doing it. So I'm just going to throw in $3 once a month to say thank you. 
And so if you do that, it's going to really help me keep these videos going and put stuff out there for the educational community. Um, but if you can't do that, that's okay too. All you have to do is watch my videos, play along with me in Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee, and share my videos with your friends, your band directors, and, and everyone you know. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you find this little clip and this tutorial to be um, at least a tiny bit useful. And besides that, I will see you guys on Saturday for Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, happy practicing.